Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I bless your holy name, Lord Yahweh. You are great and you are great to be praised. I reverence you and I honor you and I thank you for who you are. As always, Father, I enter your gates because I'm thankful. I enter with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. There is, Father, nobody like you in all of heaven and in earth. Oh, Father God, you are enlarging your people, you said, Heavenly Father, taking them to the next level. Levels are like steps in a ladder. And in those ladders, Father, the steps that they're taking, Lord God, will lead to dimensions, Father, which is like different rooms of a house. Heavenly Father, they will be multi-gifted, Heavenly Father, multi-faceted, Heavenly Father, many levels and dimensions, Heavenly Father, in themselves, God, attributed, Father, to you and your glory covering in grace that rests upon them. They're able to flow and function, Heavenly Father, in, Lord God, those rooms where you've assigned them and the doors of opportunity that you're opening, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you're waking up your people, God, spiritually through learning of your word, through drawing closer to you, through us, Father, ridding ourselves of ourself and everything that is out of alignment with you, Father. And we thank you, God, for keeping us next to you, keeping us hidden in you in the name of Jesus, protected from every wow and vicious attack and assault of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Oh God of Zion, we're able as your children to understand the things of the spirit when we're filled God with the Holy Spirit which is always when one received Jesus as Lord and Savior from a sincere heart, when conversion from spiritual death to life takes place in the spirit realm. And we confess that we believe in Jesus in our lives, Heavenly Father, though not perfect, God, align with your will, with your word in the name of Jesus. Our outward confession is an inward heavenly father possession of the holy spirit and will control god by the holy spirit in all that we do and when we fall short we thank you father because we can ask god of your mercy your grace and your forgiveness in the name of jesus we can only flow heavenly father and go with you in the realm of the spirit heavenly father when we're filled with the holy spirit because again, Father, the things of the Spirit must be discerned by the Holy Spirit that you have gifted us in Jesus Christ's name. And in turn, you, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, only reveal your mysteries in the Spirit to your children. In Matthew 11, 25, 30, we thank you, Lord God, that Jesus said, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you because you have shown to the unlearned what you have hidden from the wise and learned. Yes, Father, this was how you were pleased to have it happen. My Father has given me all things. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest for your soul. For the yoke I will give you is easy, and the load I will put on you is light. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word of assurance. All is well concerning us and we can always come to you, Heavenly Father, to get rest, to get restored, Heavenly Father, to get full and filled for the fight, Heavenly Father, that is already fixed, God, in the name of Jesus, in our favor, Heavenly Father. 
you take the things that seem foolish, God, to the world, Father, and you make it, Heavenly Father, wise in the name of Jesus. You make it make sense, Heavenly Father, so that those that are looking, Heavenly Father, can properly discern and see in the mighty name of Jesus. Not only that, but that your hand, Heavenly Father, is always on your children, no matter what happens, God, in life, in the name of Jesus. Just like everyone thought that Jesus wasn't real, they accused him and mocked him, Father, all sorts of evil, vile things, Heavenly Father, that weren't true, God, abused him, Father, spat on him, Father, whipped him, all sorts of things. Even the devil had the audacity to tempt Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, after he fasted those 40 days and, Father, when he fasted 40 days. Oh, God of Zion, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, my God, the same happens even today. If it happened to Jesus, we are certainly no different. But Father, we shall do greater signs in the name of Jesus, even right now, than what had happened before in the name of Jesus, through the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, there is a vicious attack, Heavenly Father, against your children. The enemy is relentless and vicious, Father. And some of it, God, is our fault, Father. If we're honest and as you tell us to examine ourselves, we're always pointing fingers at everybody else, have our nose in everybody else's business, Father. But we've got to examine our own ways to be sure Heavenly Father, that we're not like sheep God sled, led to the slaughter in the name of Jesus. We don't have to go, Heavenly Father. We really don't have to be led, Father, to the slaughter by the devil and these seducing spirits and lying doctrines of devils. If, Father, we are vigilant, if we are sober, if we are prayerful, Father, in the name of Jesus, if, God, we are willing and obedient unto you, We'll eat the fruit of the land. We'll be able to see, Father, and discern before the devil, God, can get up on us in the name of Jesus Christ. And even, Father, when he attacks, Father, nothing will come of it, according to Isaiah 54, 17. Father, some have an independent spirit, God independent of you fixing things and working things on their own making decisions father that you did not approve of father because we're so used to being in control we're so used to like my bishop would say father mastering everything else but waiting on the Lord and being of good courage so that you can strengthen our heart we don't want to wait you say on the Lord heavenly father we have come independent and independent spirits heavenly father is a rebellious spirit god it's an unteachable spirit it's an unteachable heart god that leads even further into curiosity heavenly father father you're saying god you you compared it to like a kitten heavenly father the kitten may be so cute heavenly father fuzzy god small heavenly father in size furry just absolutely adorable heavenly father Father, but God, it could be vicious, Heavenly Father. That thing can draw blood, Heavenly Father. It could be used, God, for evil, Heavenly Father. It's like a young version, Father, whatever this thing is in some of our lives, Heavenly Father. You said if we're not careful, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, it will grow into something greater. That's what the significance was, God, of this kitten, Heavenly Father, that I I saw not just a work of the devil in witchcraft, Heavenly Father. Yes, the influence of the enemy has everything got to do with it. But at the same time, we have a choice to depend on you, Father, for everything and not be rebellious, but obey in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you're saying if we don't get a grip of this thing while it's young, a young version, Heavenly Father, while it appears to be innocent, Heavenly Father, we're going to extend ourselves into the 
area of influence of the devil becoming influenced by him and captured father and it may be no turning back heavenly father when the enemy leaves God when you deliver your children it says in the word father and we return back heavenly father to sin father back to those things that you delivered us from in the name of Jesus it is seven more demons more wicked that are coming back heavenly father than there were prior heavenly father God that you got rid of father in us in the name of Jesus father God in the mighty name of Jesus the enemy is exercising to a certain extent and exerting spiritual power control and dominion often forcibly over your children and the ones God that are babies in Christ and the ones God that you're calling Heavenly Father that are still out in the world he's trying to chain them to the past keep them bound and pressed down father keep their mind running and busy and confused father keep them tired Lord keep us not praying Heavenly Father keep us God just sick of life sick of people father sick and tired of fighting in the name of Jesus the devil is reaching out Heavenly Father engaging people father in tempting situations father though they want to get free though they're trying their hardest father though they do God leave it alone father but then in certain seasons it seems like that thing comes right back around again or it may come around again and look slightly different from before and if we're not prayerful father if we're not vigilant father if we're not obedient father if we're not filled with your word sometimes we fall to it God and the enemy walks around just prowling like a roaring lion and walking around with his chest stuck out Heavenly Father threatening and intimidating your people Heavenly Father displaying Heavenly Father dominion power and control in the name of Jesus Christ he entreats you God he uses people to entreat you Heavenly Father which is a dangerous thing Heavenly Father they're defiant against you they're defiant against the gospel. They're defiant, God, against your people, your children. And some of your children, Father, have mixed things that are holy, Father, set apart, sanctified unto you, God, with these false gods, these false religions, these false practices, Heavenly Father, with other gods. The same thing that cost Israel, Father, their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that calls Israel a whole generation, Father, to die off, Father. It calls many not to enter into the promised land, Father. Many of them stayed, God, in the wilderness, Father. 40 years, Heavenly Father, because of this same Father, defiant spirit in the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus, we are asking, Heavenly Father, as your children, that you wash us in the blood of Jesus. Wash us by the water of your word in the name of Jesus. Sanctify us, Father. Purge us, Lord, of all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. God, we've said we were sorry so many times, Heavenly Father. And God, it's okay to a certain extent, Father, because you said a righteous man falls seven times and he gets up again in the name of Jesus and again and again, Heavenly Father. And we thank you because you understand. We thank you, God, that Jesus died for our sins. He was a man. He was God in flesh. He walked among us so he knows he's touched by our infirmities. He's touched by our griefs. He's touched by the confusion we may feel and sense at times in the name of Jesus but we thank you father in the times we don't understand in the times it's hard we keep our minds fixed on you we keep our gaze focused on you we put the fire of the devil out God the devil is afraid of us he's afraid of you that lives within us heavenly father but he wants to intimidate your people father to the point where they're afraid of him oh God of Zion we rejoice, Father, because our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We already know, Father, that we have power over all power of the air. And God, many times your children 
fall, Father. Attribute it to imperfection and sin, Father. Sometimes they miss the boat, Heavenly Father. And God, the enemy tries to pounce on them, Father, like the fake lion God that he is, Heavenly Father, causing them to self-condemn in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let it not be so, Father. We thank you for the conviction of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name that corrects us and get us back on track, Father. But there's no need to be condemned. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk according to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and not the flesh. Walking is a journey, Heavenly Father. Every day won't be the best day, but we have you, the only wise and true God, in the name of Jesus on our side, constantly fighting for us, always giving us the victory. We are more than overcomers in the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, teach your children how to pray, Father. God, it ain't hard in the name of Jesus. Teach them how to pray in the three dimensions, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Cause them to supersede past the earth, Father, past the second heaven, to the third in the name of Jesus. Cause them to reach you, Father, and stay, God, right there in the third heavens with you, Father. But cause God their prayers, Heavenly Father, to dominate even first, God, in second heavens in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no limits in you, Heavenly Father. You've given us power, Father, over all power of the enemy, Father. In the name of Jesus, we fight back, Heavenly Father. We don't go picking a fight, Father, with the devil in the name of Jesus, but we sure don't back down, Father, when he's threatening us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, when he's coming for our marriages, when he's coming for our children, when he's coming for our finances, when he's coming, Father, for our head, our faith, when he's coming for our health, when he's coming for our nation, when he's coming for our harvest, God, in the name of Jesus. Yahweh rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus, the devil in the name of Jesus, and his children in spirit and natural form in the name of Jesus for our wrestle we understand is not against flesh and blood but against principalities you done told us over and over again father against the powers against the world rulers of darkness of this age against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places but instead God of being fearful father and pressed down and paralyzed by fear fear the devil is a lie we put on the full armor the whole armor of you Yahweh Lord God so that we are able to stand in the evil day having all to do father everything we've done in our power God and the power you've given us we still stand according to Ephesians 6 12 and 13 we thank you father that the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh but they are mighty before you Lord God to be throwing down these strongholds God we thank throw down these imaginations we throw down every high thing that is exalted against the knowledge of you Lord God and bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ according to 2nd Corinthians 10 4 through 5 he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High we will rest in your shadow almighty God that you are we will say to Yahweh he is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust according to Psalms 91 1 through 2 and we thank you father that we be subject to you Lord God and we resist the devil and when we resist the devil he will flee he flees when we are subject to you heavenly father when we are obedient to you when we abide in you father when we uh, when we allow you to lead us and guide us father in all truth and righteousness when we allow the Holy Spirit to take control of us God and get out of the way according to James 4 and 7 even though we walk heavenly father through the valley of the shadow of death we will fear no evil for you are with us your rod and your staff they comfort us according to Psalms 23 4 you are our God in the mighty name of Jesus and father you call us your little children and you said that you've overcome them because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the 
world. Jesus has already overcome every wicked onslaught of the enemy, every form of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus, every form of wild possible uh, of the devil, Father, against us as your children. All of that has been overcome, even our own fleshly lust and enticements, Father, in the name of Jesus, according to 1 John 4, 4. We thank you, Jesus. We know, God, in all of these things that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us, for we are fully persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will ever be able to separate us from your love, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord, according to Romans 8, 37 through 39. Yahweh, you are the one that causes our enemies who rise up against us to be struck before you in the name of Jesus strike them down father in the name of Jesus and for that we rejoice and thank you yes Lord they may come out against us one way but father when you our dad show up on the scene they will flee before us seven ways in the name of Jesus according to Deuteronomy 28 7 as we look on father and laugh and rejoice in the name of Jesus oh God of Zion we thank you father that those, these weapons form will never be able to prosper we crush them in the mighty name of Jesus under the weight of your glory under the blood of Jesus Christ and we thank you father we are not afraid in the name of Jesus because father you said I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 41 10. And we thank you, Father, that your word is true and we receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish us and guard us from the evil one, according to 2 Thessalonians 3. Three in verse 3, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Yahweh, that your angels encamped around those who fear you and delivers them. We thank you for your angels, God, sent all around us and camped all around us, Father, constantly, day and night. We have free, Father, bodyguards in the name of Jesus in the spirit realm. And if they need to show up in human form, Father, you're able to do that too, God. You're just God like that. And we thank you, Father, in the Rabokosha Tabariosaya, in the Ramosha, in the name of Jesus. You are the one that delivers us in Jesus' name and your angels. We thank you for your angels, Father. Keep them encamped around us. Send them where they need to be. Your warring angels even now, Father, for your child that may be crying out, for your child that may be tired, Father, for your child, God, just before they heard this prayer, God, was about to give up or make the wrong decision in the name of Jesus, but you intercept it, Father. That's the kind of God that you are in the name of Jesus. Jesus. None of us are exempt, Father, from bad decision making. None of us are exempt from falling to temptation, Father. But we thank you that we are our brother's keeper, Father. We thank you, Father, that we pray constantly for one another and lift one another up. And we thank you for your angels, God, your angelic host, Father, that lifts us up in Jesus' name. According to Psalms 34 and verse 7, Heavenly Father, we wait on you, Father. You told us in Isaiah. Of 40 31 but those who wait for Yahweh will renew their strength they will mount up with wings like eagles they will run and not be weary they will walk and not faint we bless you Lord Jehovah blessed be Yahweh our rock who teaches our hands how to war and our fingers to battle and produce in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you father for your loving kindness we thank you for being our fortress we thank you for being our high tower we thank you, Yahweh, for being our deliverer, our shield in the name of Jesus. We thank you for being our father where we can take refuge. We thank you, Heavenly Father. You're the one who subdues your people under you in the name of Jesus. We willy, willingly 
come to you in the name of Jesus and take our rest, take our rightful place in the name of Jesus. According to Psalms 144, 1 and 2, the devil is lied to someone, Father, and they bought the lie. But in the name of Jesus, I cast down that lie in the name of Jesus. I command that lie to move and lead their mind in the name of Jesus. That's embedded in their spirit now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to loose them in the name of Jesus. Be evicted in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, plant your word deep in them, Father. Cause them to think on you, Father, and what you told them, God, before, and what you're saying to them now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Make your voice so loud, Heavenly Father, that it drowns out the enemy's voice and every lying voice that they tell to themselves and hear within themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus for being our rock, our fortress, our deliverer, our God in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being our shield in the name of Jesus. Thank you that we take refuge you in you in the name of Jesus. We thank you Father for being our horn of your salvation. Thank you for being our high tower according to Psalms 18 and verse 2 Father. Father you said behold in Luke 10 19 I give you authority to tread on serpents and and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy nothing will in any way hurt you father you said it God behold I give you I give you I give you cause that to be embedded in someone's spirit father you give them you said I give you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy nothing will in any way hurt you be sober and self-controlled be watchful your adversary the devil walks around like a roaring lion like a roaring lion with his fake self in the name of Jesus seeking someone that he may devour father you told us in first Peter 5 8 through 9 to withstand him withstand him by staying steadfast in our faith we've got to believe in the name of Jesus when we don't feel and when we don't see father we've got to know that our brothers and sisters all over the world undergo the exact same sufferings heavenly father God let somebody know that they're not alone and that it's not over father until you say that it is over it is you Yahweh that keeps us from all evil it is you that keeps our soul it is you that keeps us when we go in and when we come out from this time forward and forevermore according to Psalms 121 and verse 7 through 8, Heavenly Father. Oh God of Zion, we thank you, Father. Just like you said to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says Yahweh of armies. According to Zechariah 4, 6, we cannot be independent of you. We cannot have an independent spirit, Father. We cannot have a rebellious spirit, Father. We cannot mix your holy, sacred things of God, of you, Yahweh, up, Father, with false God and false religions, false teachings, Father, false practices, occult objects, God. This is strange fire. We cannot put ourselves in there trying to manipulate our destiny, manipulate people to make it fit what we want in the name of Jesus. How this thing is going to work out from faith to faith, glory to glory, level to level, them steps, dimensions, the different rooms, Heavenly Father, is by your power and spirit in the name of Jesus. So we yield to you, Lord Jehovah, right now in the name of Jesus. Yahweh will fight for us and we should only be still as you said to the children of Israel in Exodus 14 14 the God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect he's the one that makes our feet like deer's feet he sets us on high places God you teach us how to war our hands you train them father so that our arms can bend a bow of bronze father our own arms father our own hands God Lord Jehovah you don't play father Lord let somebody know they are stronger than what they realize in the name of Jesus all they need to do is 
rest in you, stand still in you, trust in you, believe in you, and not give up in the name of Jesus. According to Psalms 1832 through 34. Lord, we thank you. You told us do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's in the name of Jesus. That's what was told God to Judah in the name of Jesus. The inhabitants, Father of Jerusalem, in the name of Jesus. And to King Jehoshaphat, according to 2 Chronicles 20, 15, Father. The righteous cry, you understand. That's why you told us not to be afraid or dismayed. We do cry, Father. We do hurt in the name of Jesus. But you hear us. Yahweh hears us and delivers us out of all all our troubles not some but all when we're dependent on you and we let you flow in our lives according to Psalms 34 17 father you told us not to worry and be afraid when we pass through the waters you said I will be with you and through the rivers they will not overflow you when you walk through the fire you will not be burned and flame will not scorch you according to Isaiah 43 2 Yahweh is our light and salvation. So whom shall we fear? Yahweh is the strength of our lives. Whom shall we be afraid? When evildoers come at us to eat up our flesh, even our adversaries and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against us, our hearts will never fear. Though war rise against us, Heavenly Father, even then we shall stand on business. We shall be confident in you in the name of Jesus. We won't even flinch, Heavenly Father. We fix our faces, God, like flint in the name of Jesus according to Psalms 27 1 through 3 and the God of peace will quickly crush Satan under our feet the grace of our Lord Jesus be with us we receive your grace father in Jesus Christ's name we are confident in you Heavenly Father and we don't yield Heavenly Father to self condemnation or the voices and lies of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for being the God of peace and we thank you that soon you will crush Satan under our feet in the name of Jesus and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ shall continually be with us in Jesus name we thank you Yahweh that you are our strong tower where we can run in as the righteous and be safe according to Proverbs 18.10. Yahweh is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who will take refuge in him according to Nahum 1 and verse 7 in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for this benefit in Jesus' name. So they will fear Yahweh's name from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Oh, yes, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, you will come as a rushing stream with breath, God, in the name of Jesus. Your breath, God, we're asking that you breathe on us in the name of Jesus. Your breath, God, in the name of Jesus, we're asking that you breathe on us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And we bless your holy name. We fear you, God. Not of uh, the wrong kind of fear, Heavenly Father, an evil kind of fear, but we fear you out of reverence and deep respect. You're so awe-inspiring and magnificent, amazing, and, and huge. We, we have no words to describe who you are, Father. You are the very breath that we breathe and for that we honor you and bow down before you and posture our hearts before you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for giving your angels charge over us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father that we will tread upon the lion and cobra. We thank you that we will trample the young lion and serpent underfoot every single time, Father. We are strong as you keep saying, Father, over and over. We are strong. You have not told us. You have commanded us, Father, to be courageous, to be strong. Don't be afraid. Don't be dis 
discombobulated, discombobulated. Don't be dismayed for you are our God, Yahweh, and you go with us everywhere that we go, Heavenly Father. You're the one that keeps us, Father, from the hands of the wicked. You're the one that preserves us from the violent man in the name of Jesus who have determined with every fiber in their bodies to trip our feet in the name of Jesus, according to Psalms 140 and verse 4. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that the Lord is our helper. We will not fear. No man can do anything to us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that every fight against us will not prevail against us because you are with us and you rescue us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for who you are in the name of Jesus. We continue to set our face like a flint in the name of Jesus, knowing God that we shall never be disappointed in you in the name of Jesus because you are our rock and our fortress, our strength and refuge. We trust you at all times, God. We thank you for allowing us to pour out our hearts before you. And we thank you for pouring your mercy and grace and your Holy Spirit into us in the name of Jesus. Thank you that we're able to breathe thank you that we're one mighty army as the believers in the name of Jesus even when the world laughs in the mighty name of Jesus Yahweh you always God get the last laugh in the name of Jesus and you always give your children victory ultimately in Jesus Christ's name so we rejoice Heavenly Father in you with great joy because we know Yahweh our God is with us you calm us with your love Father and we rejoice over you you with singing in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that the captives, Heavenly Father, of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For you said you will contend with him who contends with you and you will save your children. Thank you, Father, for contending with those who constantly contend with us in the name of Jesus. They don't stand a chance in Jesus' name. And we thank you that you said that I will save my children according to Isaiah 49, 20 in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you for being our very present help in the time of trouble. Though the earth changes, Heavenly Father, though the mountains may shake, Heavenly Father, even the heart of the seas, even though sometimes in life the waters roar and they're troubled, Heavenly Father, the mountains tremble at their swelling in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that we are at peace, God, and calm and rest in confidence, knowing that you've got us covered. So I blanket, Father, not just myself, God, and my loved ones. I blanket, Father, everyone, Father, under the sound of this prayer in the name of Jesus, even those that will never hear this prayer. We blanket them in the spirit as your children globally from the north, the south, the east, the west, everywhere let no nation country continent city state nowhere be untouched father and uncovered in the name of jesus you know exactly where your people are and how to find them father you never even hid yourself from them we're the one that hide ourselves from you god go out to get them your word endures all generations your word stands forever Teach us how to pray the scripture, how to pray the word and stand on it in the name of Jesus, even in the face of wickedness and opposition. We decree and declare that it is so. And we thank you and rejoice for the victory. I sign this prayer in Jesus name and we seal it God in his precious shed blood. Amen.